and girls, and welcome to Mr. Amico Studio with Doodles by me, Mr. M-I-C. Oh, do we have a super duper ooper episode for you today? Yes, it is episode 40, 44, zero. Wow, and it's a request. Yes, a request. A request from who? From where? What are we going to doodle? Okay, are you ready? Today's request goes out to Noah Duchance. Yes, Noah, Noah D. Noah, I heard you, I heard you. And Noah said, can we doodle Snoopy? I said, Snoopy? That would be amazing for the 40th episode. Yes, 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 yes. And then the dance. Remember the dance? <laughs> and the teacher. Yes, Noah. Yes, Noah, here is your awesome super request, and I love it, and it's Snoopy, and it's Woodstock, and it's getting a little chills in the studio talking about Noah and the, and the, and the request, and the, and the, and the, ah! You know what that means, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day in the studio. A beautiful day for a Snoopy Noah request doodle. Would you doodle? Could you doodle? Won't you doodle with me and Snoopy and Woodstock? All right, Snoopy is a pet beagle of Charlie Brown, his best friend, Charles Schultz. Um, created a comic strip called The Peanuts and debuted in 1950. Snoopy's original name was Sniffy. What? <laughs> and his imagination is so wild, it makes him become the college student Joe Cool or the World War I flying ace. What? He's a pilot and he's a college student and he is a... Cutie, puppy, beagle. All right, Noah, thank you so much for your request. I can't wait to see what you guys doodle. Bye bye. Woo. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. Wow, the 40th episode doodles with Mr. Miko, with Noah and Snoopy. Let's get going. So, um, horizontal, bottom of my paper, top of my paper, sides. Um, let's be mindful to where Snoopy is going to be and where his little house is going to be. So right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw his house. And Charles Schultz drew with a really, really bumpy line. So it looks really cool. Check this out. So I am going to look at my corners. And I'm going to say, watch. I'm going to say, let's just create a slanted line. It's a little bumpy line, a little bumpy line. And I'm going to stop about halfway up, halfway up. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. And bump, bump, little bump, little bump, 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 but up, bump, 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 bump. It's like his lines were like um, zoomed in, so you can see all the little crinks and bumps of um, his crayon or his pencil, or maybe he made it look like a crayon. So now I'm gonna create a horizontal line where Snoopy is gonna be laying on his doghouse. Oh, I love it! And I am gonna go. And a little like this, boys and girls. Laser focus. I'm super mindful. I'm just thinking about Snoopy right now. And I'm going to put a little, little um, space. And then I'm going to go again. Look, I'm super slow. And my line, and my line, and up. And I'm going to put a little space. Okay. And then I'm going to. A little line, a little line, a little line, and I'm going to connect. What? Yes, I am. So, now that's Snoopy's doghouse, and now we're going to draw Snoopy. 
Okay, I'm gonna draw Snoopy's face. Okay, boys and girls, oh, I'm so happy that we're together, together today on this beautiful Thursday. Snoopy's head is gonna be a little bump. Watch this. Okay, I'm just gonna go make a curve, make a curve and make it bump down a little, okay? Okay, and then it's gonna go into a big, big, big oval curve. Pause, rewind, call your grandma, go to the fridge, grab a taco. All right. Look at that, it looks like a bean. It's just an organic curvy shape. And then I'm gonna put a little curve like that. Okay, so right there, that becomes Snoopy's head. Um, it's just a nice little wavy, wavy line. And then I'm gonna put a half circle here for Snoopy's big nose. And then I'm gonna put a little half line on the inside. All right, boys and girls, yes! So excited. Snoopy, he's sleeping, so we're gonna put a little slanted line for Snoopy's eye. Noah, thank you for this great request. Oh, I don't know what I would have drawn for episode 40 if it wasn't for you. Thank you, buddy. And then I'm gonna put a little curve there. And that's kind of like his eyebrow. I think that's kind of like his eyebrow. Okay, remember that dash? Remember that space that we made here, boys and girls? We are now, watch this. It's gonna be his ear. So it's gonna be thin to thick and it's gonna um, drip down like a gooey, like an implied texture of gooey. And watch this, my third graders are like, I know that. And then I'm um, drawing, drawing slowly. And then I get to the bottom and I curve. And like a roller coaster, I go down and then I come back up and I come up, come up, come up, and I know that I'm gonna connect it, okay? That becomes Snoopy's ear. Snoopy's ear. Can you hear me, Snoopy? Aye, aye, Captain. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> and now this is gonna be Snoopy's um, collar, and it's gonna be bump and bump, okay? Bump and bump. And put a little line here, and we're gonna complete his collar. Bump and bump. Bump, bim, bump. Oh, collar is complete. I, I, Snoopy. Snoopy, um, Snoopy is an astronaut. So in a new comics, in a new, um, actually, I think McDonald's had a Happy Meal and it was on um, one of the channels, maybe Prime or something, that he was, or HBO, that he was an astronaut. That was cool. Okay, I'm gonna make a big bump for his belly. Okay, boys and girls, ready for this big bump? And it's gonna be like a little hill. And I'm drawing, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking happy thoughts. I'm thinking such happy thoughts of accomplishments, that um, of confidence, of me feeling accomplished, and that's the thoughts I'm thinking. And then I'm gonna draw a little straight line. Okay, boys and girls. Wow, um, it's kind of looking like Snoopy to me. It's kind of looking like Snoopy to me. Um, now we are gonna create his foot. His foot again is gonna be a curve. Um, watch, I'm just gonna make a big curve and I'm gonna stop at the top hammer time and I'm gonna stop right there. I'm not gonna pass go, I'm not gonna collect, um, what is it, $200? And I'm gonna go down on a slant a little. Okay, a little bumpy line. And so far, so good, boys and girls. Wow, 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 wow. Snoopy has seven siblings, including a brother named Spike. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a little curved line for his other foot that's in the back. Yes, he has that um, brother named Spike. That's really funny. Okay. Snoopy Doops. Snoopy has a line here and a line here for his foot. Wow. Wow, this is so cool. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Thursday in Doodle Land. Um, and now remember that gap that we made, that space? I'm just gonna put a little U-shape, okay? A little curve, and it's gonna connect. Remember, it's all about connections. It's all about connecting lines because art is beautiful and magical and it never ends, okay? This episode might end, but art will last forever. It's an experience, so it will last forever. And I'm gonna make a curve, and this is gonna be his arm, and it's gonna be a straight line. 
and it's gonna stop halfway in the middle. Wow, Snoopy is done -zo after this line, whoop! And this line, whoop! <laughs> wow! Boys and girls, -na 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 Um, now, he has those lines on his doghouse. And watch this. And it's going to be, look, big wave, big wave, big wave, big wave, big wave. But then I'm going to make it a thicker line by making it into a bubble line, okay? And how did I do that? All I did was continue the same line. And I'm going to make another one. Watch this. Big wave. And you can make any big wave you want. Big wave, big wave, big wave. I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to make a curve. And I'm going to copy that exact line. Big wave, big wave, big wave, big wave, big wave. Boop. And I'm going to do one here. Boop. And one here. Boop. And that's just showing um, the detail of Snoopy's awesome doghouse. And his ear. And all his ear right now is just we're gonna fill it in with a black shape. Okay, with a circle shape. And we're gonna fill that in with black a little later. Boys and girls, wow, Snoopy! Woo! Does he sound like that? Well, that's the teacher again. Now we're gonna draw Woodstock! Okay. Ah, oh, Woodstock. Woodstock is Snoopy's best friend friend. Oh, he is. He's such a cutie. Um, I'm going to do Woodstock's feet. Woodstock's feet are simply going to be really thin, like toothpicks. Thin, um, curvy triangles. Watch this. One, two, three, maybe four, maybe five. Okay. And then I'm going to connect that. And then I'm going to do his little tail. His little tail is like a tiny little rectangle shape. And I'm going to connect now his neck with his face. Okay. So we're going to get like a little line in here. And he's tiny. He's really tiny. He's a little bird. Um, and Snoopy's the only one that can understand him. Or he's the only one that can understand Snoopy. And then I'm going to make a curve. Like a funny S shape. Okay, boys and girls. Remember, you can rewind, you can fast forward, and then he just gets these little lines. Watch, these little curvy lines. And then we fill those out with the, with the yellow crayon. So, Woodstock is just really like a, a, a bunch of curvy lines. And he's sleeping too. So he's sleeping too, so I'm gonna put a little slant line here and a slant line there, okay? Because he's sleeping with his best friend. Oh, this is so cute! Um. And since they're sleeping, they're thinking about happiness. So I'm going to put some hearts here. All right. I always think of hearts when I'm happy. And they have a little voice bubble, a little um, caption. And look how cool this is. I'm going to put a triangle here. And a line. And a triangle here. And a line and a line. And I'm going to make a square. And I'm going to actually make some spaces, okay? And I'm gonna put a big Z, a big Z, okay? So now they're both sleeping and they're both thinking of happiness. Boys and girls, wow! <laughs> Snoopy and Woodstock are in the studio with Noah, yes! Um, on the bottom of Snoopy's treehouse, a treehouse, Snoopy's, <laughs> Wow, Snoopy's um, doghouse. I'm gonna put a squiggly line right there, boom. And that's gonna be, um, represent grass, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, Snoopy has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Do you believe that? Crazy, right? And I'm gonna do clouds, straight line. And I'm gonna do three bumps. Bump, bump, bump. Um, there's a Snoopy Museum in Tokyo. Straight line here. Okay. Bump, bump, big bump, and bump. 
Snoopy is NASA's official safety mascot. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> and the last cloud before we move on is going to be a straight line. And my favorite cartoon was on um, the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yes, I love that. I still love it. Okay, boys and girls, we are complete. Noah, thank you for the great request. And we are ready to color. Woo! All right, calling all colors, calling all colors. We got Doghouse Red. We got purple. We got green. We got blue. We got brown. We got Call Me Mel Yellow. And we have a beautiful orange and assorted color pencils. Okay. And of course, we have my black. So let's start by coloring. Snoopy's beautiful, iconic red doghouse. And since the whole thing is going to be red, remember, let's color in sections. So I am going to, right now, I'm going to color up and down. And I'm going to use the side. And if you need to, you can make your crayon naked. So I'm going to make my crayon naked right now. All right. It's a little cold in the studio, so I'm not going to take it all off. I'm just going to take a little. All right. And that just helps me now when I need to color. So if you need to, you can rip off some of the paper, okay? And that's what you're gonna do. Let's break it down section by section. And I could go right below that, and I could start coloring right below it. Okay. Look at that, boys and girls. This is gonna be so fun. And I could skip around, because right now I'm upside down, coloring upside down, so... Um, my range of motion is a little, little different right now, but I'm, look, I'm going across. I'm gonna go across the best I can. And um, I'm putting a little heavy pressure. And the cool thing is that I am gonna cover all of my white space as best as I can. And if there's any negative space, you can always use a colored pencil. So has anybody used tried that technique? You color first, and then you softly pass over all of your um, colored spaces with a colored pencil. Okay. Oh, wow, this is cool. And remember, coloring is so important. Alrighty, we got this whole top pot done, boys and girls. All right now we're gonna move, and that's why we have those cool dividers. That we have those cool um, bubble lines that we drew, that we created. Um, and those bubble lines, or those thicker lines, are gonna be the detail of Snoopy's beautiful. Uh, I was gonna say clubhouse, <laughs> his beautiful doghouse. But it's crazy. Did you know? I didn't know this until I looked it up and I saw this. Um, though we never saw the inside of Snoopy's doghouse um, in, the car in the comic strips or the cartoon. It was revealed over the years that there is an original, get this boys and girls, Van Gogh painting hanging in Snoopy's doghouse. <laughs> Snoopy has good taste and paintings. He has an original Van Gogh. All right, boys and girls, remember, take your time, um, color your space, think mindfully, go in one direction if you can. And again, maybe you have a red doghouse. Maybe he painted it and maybe it's a blue doghouse or maybe it's a rainbow doghouse, right? Why does that have to be red? Um, again, it's your world. You paint it however you like. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay. Here we go. What? That is so cool. Look at that. Um, let's now, let's just tape this down a little. Okay. Sometimes the tape comes off and I just, you know, Put it back on. Okay. Now I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to color in the lines on um, Snoopy's doghouse. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna just color in those lines real quick. Um, and now this is gonna complete his beautiful doghouse. He's taking such a nice nap. It's such a beautiful day outside. Him and his best friend are taking a little nap, all right? They're taking a little snooze. All right, wow! Uh, I'm gonna continue with that black and I'm gonna say, hey, the inside of his ear, let's color that black, okay? Um, Snoopy's nose, let's color that black. Just one little part of it. His collar, let's color that black. Okay, so Snoopy's, wow, <laughs> this is so cool. Um, like I said before, if you had a colored pencil, um, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you that you can, um, and by doing this, what's going to happen is that it will, you see the difference right there? It will pick up all of the negative space. It will pick up all of the negative space and it gives it a really nice creamy finish. So um, this is something I discovered and wow, I absolutely love it. I love colored pencils and I love crayons now. Um, I love it, love it, love it. So now his best friend, oh, Woodstock. Pick up your mellow yellow, yellow color and Woodstock, okay. So Woodstock was that musical festival and we're gonna get this color Woodstock all yellow. Woodstock was that musical festival. Um, and I think that's where he got his name from. And he is Snoopy's best friend. Oh, look at his best friend. Snoopy's best friend. This gives me chills. It's such a beautiful thing to have a best friend. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my red crayon. And I'm going to take my pink colored pencil. And I'm going to do one heart red. And one heart pink. Okay. And on the other side, I'm going to do one heart red and one heart pink. So what color is your, the little Z? See, they're sleeping. They're catching their Zs. So I'm going to do that in black. And what color is your bubble going to be? I chose a light yellow. This is a light yellow. Um, maybe you could choose any color you want. So I'm just going to do a light yellow right now. All right, just do a quick light yellow. Ah, this is so beautiful. It is so cool. Um, I remember playing on with Mr. Ennis. Um, there was an app called Snoopy's um, Street Fair. That was actually really fun. <laughs> but we're talking about, that was like 2015. That was a long, that was, that was five years ago, I think. Yeah, a good five years ago. And I'm going to paint green. I'm going to color green um, for Snoopy's grass, for the grass. Oh, I'm going to use my helping hand and I'm going to hold it down. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. And Snoopy's blue sky. So now... If you want to add um, a nice blue sky, we're going to do it really, really light. Okay. We're going to do a really light blue sky. Okay. So who are all the peanuts? Who are, who is the peanuts gang? And I'm going to do real light. I'm going in one motion. And this is just going to give it an idea. That there is it's a beautiful spring day, like just like today, a beautiful spring day. Okay, let's see. There's Woodstock, there's Charlie Brown, there's Franklin, um, there's Lucy Linus, there's Peppermint, Peppermint Patty, there's um, Sally, there's Pigpen, Marcy, and Schroeder. All right, those were my faves. All right, you see that? As you are adding in your, as you are adding in your blue. And again, you could go back in with color pencil. Um, raise your hand, Miss 
Winter, so Miss Triggers, or Miss Fusco, or Miss Claude. Um, if you guys remember the Snoopy Snow Cone Machine, <laughs> or any of the parents out there, do you guys remember the Snoopy Snow Cone Machine? You guys should Google that. Um, I had one. It was awesome. Did it work? Sometimes. <laughs> but it was really fun to have. It was really fun to have. Um, just want to say a quick shout out to Brianna Gonzalez and Bryce. I see you guys are drawing. Hope you're having um, the best time you can um, away from us. Um, you may in Surrey. Um, Andrew Dill is out there. Hasato, Troy. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Um, Chisako, Hisato. Um, we got Tame. Hi, Tame. As we color the sky. Masaki. We got Owie. We got Kanan. We got Samantha Z out there. All right, who else do we have out there? We have Yuri. And Yuri, um, on her flower drawing, on her flower drawing, Yuri, Yuri wrote, um, it's a sunny day for flowers. And that was beautiful. Yuri, thank you so much for adding that caption on your flower doodles from yesterday. That was beautiful. Okay, and we have Ava G. Ava G, Ava G is always checking in. All right, and Nanako, Nanaka, and Kokoro. Nanaka and Kokoro. Hi, girls. Okay. And again, as you're filling in all of the blue, just be mindful. Take your time. Mr. Miko is doing it all in sections. And then we have Nicole. Delilah and Olivia in Westwood, Massachusetts. Thank you so much. Actually, that beautiful family has um, their doodles in the window. And there's a little caption on the bottom that says, Doodle with Mr. Amico on YouTube. <laughs> I laughed. I chuckled. I thought that was the best thing in the world. Um, thank you for that. I'm just, um, I'm just happy that you guys are enjoying the doodles. And that's why I do this. Um, it just takes one person that I know if one person enjoys it, then I will do it forever. I'll do it as long as I can, okay? Because it just helps, it helps that one person. It brings joy to that one person, then it brings joy to me. All right, wow! <laughs> Check that out. Ow, Noah, thank you so much. Wow, Woo! what? Episode 40 in the books, Finito Dunzo. Wow, on such a beautiful Thursday. Thank you, Noah, for this beautiful request. Snoopy was in the studio with Woodstock, but sorry, they were sleeping. <laughs> Remember, love your parents, hug your parents, and most of all, please appreciate your parents because they are the true superheroes. And today's... Drawing was a dog, just like Snoopy. Boys and girls, enjoy your beautiful Thursday. Go take a walk and bye-bye.